Hey, what's up guys? Otto here. Welcome back. We are in part three and we need to do some front end work. So now that we have the API set up for the back end for Node.js, next we need to navigate once we sign up to a landing page, All right? So let's do that now. So when we click the sign up button, what needs to happen is we need to navigate to another screen, right? like a landing page to show the user, okay, you logged in and now you can use our app. So what do we need to do next? Here, on our on press here, we need to use navigator dot pushed named and name of the route, which we don't have yet. We don't have the name of the route, so we need to create it. Create a class down here. So with uh, Flutter with VS Code, we can type st, and we can see the option, uh, a stateless widget, and that's what we need. And with the stateless widget, we are going to name it landing screen and that landing screen is going to contain uh, text for now and inside that text I'm gonna say welcome to the landing screen okay done landing screen and ID a way to access it so with static const uh, string ID equals and ID we can just call it landing screen paste that in there close it up and that's set now take landing screen go roll up here where it says route name that's where we put our landing screen ID and now it will push to that but there's one more thing we need to do is go up to uh, the material app and under home we need to add routes like that the routes property and in the routes property we are going to add the landing screen route landing screen dot id context return arrow function and landing screen class okay there you go done now it's ready so now if we go to our app and click this go to welcome welcome to the landing screen so obviously we don't want the user to just click the button and go to the landing screen without being registered we want him to we want to check if he's registered first so that means we need to use the token method so the token that we set up for the back end already that token we can save to the device with a special library called shared preferences so open up my browser typing flutter shared preferences and go in here we can see we can see this package version and copy that go back to our code open up pubspec.yaml and under our http library we're going to paste shared preferences in dot dot save that let it load close and then we need to import it here in the main dot dart file so let's see they have an example here let's take that copy paste that in now how can we use this well if we scroll down and remember our function our sign up function it gives us a response that body we print that out which was a token i want to give you guys a quick reminder how that system works so what we're going to do is start up the node.js server so we're going to type node server directory and then server.js start it up port 5000 and we go up to our server and make sure everything's good yeah 
And so what should happen is when we put a, a string here and a password here, it should show up. But we got an error. And I believe the error is because of, there was an update, a flutter. And with iOS, you don't have to use 127.0.01. You can just use local host, save, restart. Okay, string, password, sign up. So you see that we have a token. All right, it sends us back a token. And that's exactly what we wanted. And so we want to take that token in and put it in shared preferences, put it, save it on our device. So how do we do that? We can take this code here, copy that. And what we want to do is we don't want this. We want, we want to set string. And the name of that string will be token. So that would be the response dot body dot token. Right? I made a mistake. We need to decode. So we need to parse it. Parse. Uh, I think it's JSON decode. Yeah and response dot body okay and we could take that parse put it in here okay then we add token and just to make sure that it's correct go ahead and add the parse token close that up Save and test password. And we should be able to see a, a token here. There, yeah, that's the token string. All right, so that works. Now, I know there's gonna be an error if I hit this again. We'll have an error from the server. And it's basically saying overwrite model error. So we're having an error with the model. And so if we go to our server here in the server directory, you'll see that this model is inside here and our schema is also. A simple fix is just take this, take our schema and our model, Mongoose model, and put it outside of the API. So there you go model and go ahead and reset the server got an error with the flutter go ahead and hit that hit that hit that restart okay everything's good now and then go ahead and do that again add a random string a random password sign up okay and then of course another random uh, email Right, so you see in, in the terminal that we're not getting any errors and we're getting multiple tokens. So that means it works. No more errors. All right, that's taken care of. Note that we are getting tokens and we're getting the token string and that is being saved here. Now, how do we test that is actually getting saved into the device? We need to test that out as well. So to do that, we can get use this git Copy that, go down here. We're gonna call this token, and this is gonna be a string, and this is gonna be git string. Delete this stuff here. God, this is ugly. There you go. And git, we're getting the token. And finally, let's print token. Close that out. And now go ahead and run another name. Sign up. So you see two tokens here. 
So that is coming from one from here, which we can cross out. And the other one's coming from the device right here. All right, then let's settle. Let's clean up a little bit. I, we don't need that or this or that. Okay, save. All right, next step is we need to check if the token was successfully sent before navigating over here. All right, so we don't want to navigate until we have a successful token. And so to do that, we need to do a few things. We can write a conditional statement here if token is not equal to null then go ahead and navigate over to the landing screen so we got to build our little token here so to do that grab this shared preference put it up here it's going to complain that we need uh, it needs to be asynchronous so let's go ahead and make this an asynchronous function okay it's not screaming at us anymore now down here, we add our token with the git string. Go ahead and take this, take that, and go ahead and add it up here. Okay, so what's going on here? This button, it accesses the device shared preferences, which is like its database, and then it gets the token, puts the token here. Here we check the token, if the token is a string, then it will go through. If it's null, then that means there was no token sent. That means the person was not registered yet. So that will work. Let's delete that, clean that up, reset. Start the device, put a random string in, password, and sign up. And it worked. Right, and here's our token right here. All right, guys. We're going to stop here today. Uh, next video, we're going to do some more work in the back end and generate an actual token. So see you there.